Hello and welcome to Thought for September the 17th. Our readings are 2 Kings chapters 24 and 25, Ezekiel chapter 13 and Luke chapter 9. And our thought is, let these words sink. What effect do words of the Bible have on you as you read them? They vary greatly as we have seen today. But this causes us to exercise our minds in many different ways, and this is good for us. God has overseen the recording of many different events and messages so that what he has caused to be written is a lifelong study, indeed more than a study, often a cause of prayerful meditation. So often it is about human failure and the causes of that failure. Our Old Testament readings today were both about the dismal end of God's nation. The final two chapters in Second Kings detailed the dreadful destruction of Jerusalem and the distress of the people. And Ezekiel chapter 13 is about the ungodliness at the time and how the Lord God said, I will make stormy winds break out in my wrath and great hailstones in wrath to make a full end, verse 13. The Psalms of David had long been written. So would one here and there who knew them have meditated on them? Maybe Psalm 12, to take one example. It ends with the words, On every side the wicked prowl, as vileness is exalted. Those trying to be righteous would surely have meditated on the two previous verses which start, The words of the Lord are pure words. We compare the forecasts of the destruction of Jerusalem with the forecasts Jesus made of his death and the reaction of his hearers to these forecasts. We read today in Luke chapter 9, while they were all marvelling at everything he was doing, Jesus said to his disciples, Let these words sink into your ears. The Son of Man is about to be delivered into the hands of men. But they did not understand this saying. We read in verse 43 to 45. Their minds were focused on which of them was the greatest. We read in verse 46. With that state of mind, his words could not sink into their minds. We see a telling comparison with what we will read later in Luke chapter 24. After his resurrection, two disciples who had walked with an unrecognized Messiah later confessed, Did not our hearts burn within us as he talked with us on the road while he opened to us the scriptures? Verse 32. They were in a mood to let these words sink into their minds. He had chided them that they were slow of heart to believe all that the prophets had spoken. Verse 25. It seems to be our nature to believe only what we want to believe. But in looking at all that the prophets have spoken and seeing alarmingly the comparisons with our world today, to the forecast then of the destruction of Jerusalem and the reasons for it, let us cause the words of Christ and the prophets to sink more fully into our minds so we can walk with greater and greater faith in the increasing darkness of today's world. Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day. As we open up the pages of God's Word, May the word be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Thank you for joining us. We hope you found the episode helpful. Don't forget, 
Most of these episodes are also available as videos on our video channel, cdvideo.org. So head over and take a look. If you have any comments or questions or suggestions, please get in touch or leave us a voice message. We love to hear your feedback. You can email us at btf at cdvideo.org. If you enjoyed the episode, then please share it with others. Until next time, may God bless you in your studies and your walk towards God's kingdom. Amen.